Yet that is what we claim this night is all about. Joy. A deep, abiding joy that the world runs from. Tonight, there will be far more people in restaurants and bars than there will be in church. And even though their lifestyles may be as far away from Mr. Bridges as possible, they will be experiencing the same thing he did. Joviality, cheerfulness, exaltation, aided by libation, but not joy. Joy is for us simpler folks. We go to Bethlehem, journeying with heart and mind to find our joy, and we find it in the simple story. It's a beautifully human story that we all know by heart. But like joyous little kids crawling under the covers with our uncle, a story we want to hear again and again. A simple story of a man and a woman, and her giving birth to a baby in a stable and laying him in a manger, and the star, and a sky full of light, and singing, and the shepherds, and beneath the story, the incarnation, the Word made flesh, the staggering assertion that in this child, God came in to human history, came to us in this newborn, and showed us what joy is like. God came in this life, in the life and teaching of Jesus, in his death and resurrection. It was called incarnation to the oldest and most urgent question in human history, where is God? The Christian answer is here, in this man Jesus, his life, his birth, his death, his resurrection. The philosophers, the world weary world like Mr. Bridge, and the bar hoppers and the folks at the lottery tell us this cannot be. God, if there is a God, cannot be a Jewish baby born to an unwed mother in a remote corner of the Roman Empire. This cannot be. It is not reasonable. But come to Bethlehem. Come and see. Come and see untold millions of lives made whole. Come and see trembling knees and weak arms made strong. Come and see lives renewed and healed. Come and see in his name the homeless sheltered, the hungry fed, the naked clothed, and the prisoner free. Come and see hospitals and schools and universities and art and music and all of them built and sung in his name. Come and see the oppressed resisting their oppressors, the sick comforted, the dying giving hope and courage. Come and see his kingdom, which keeps bursting into the life of this world. Come and see how he is born again and again, wherever love and joy is. Come back out by the barn and see, but not only see, but experience joy. See it in the mother's eyes, the brave father's smile. See it in the excitement of the angels and the fear that turns to wonder, that turns to praise of the shepherds. See it, as Thomas Burton said, in ox and ass who understand more of the first Christmas than the high priests of Jerusalem. And he said, it is the same today. My friends, what you've heard on radio and television for the last six weeks is that joy can be found in the perfect sweater, the latest electronic gadget, 
economic stability for our nation, or if not that, at least economic stability for ourselves by playing and then winning the lottery. Those are all a lot of pleasant things, but they are not joy. Joy comes from the knowledge that we are loved by no less than the Lord God Almighty and free to love each other. What was it that David Niven said as Bishop Henry Baum in the Bishop's Christmas Eve sermon in the movie called The Bishop's Wife, and no, that was not the last Christmas movie I saw in the theater. Rome said, you give me a book, I give you a tie. Aunt Martha's always wanted an orange squeezer, and Uncle Harry can do in the new pipe. We forget nobody, adult or child. All the stockings are filled, except one. And we've even forgotten to hang that one up. The stocking for the child born in the manger. It's his birthday that we're celebrating. Don't let us ever forget that. And then let us ask ourselves what he would wish for the most. And then let us each put in his share, loving kindness, warm hearts, a stretched out hand of tolerance, all the shining gifts that make peace on earth and joy in life. Being loved by someone, especially if that someone is God, is the greatest joy we will ever have. On the day I found Satchel, or perhaps I should say, on the day she found me, the first thing I did was take the little lost pup to the vet. When the doctor saw her and heard that we were going to keep each other, she lifted Satchel up by her front paws, looked her square in the eye and said, you've won the doggy lottery, now don't screw this up. Tonight, you and I have won the human lottery. It's not cash, but it's the joy of knowing that we are totally and completely loved by God. So for a moment at least, before you drift off to sleep, put down the sponge, turn off the television, hush the noise and the strife, and hear the angels sing of the tidings of great joy which has come to you and to me and to all people in the birth of Jesus Christ our Lord. Joy be to you this Christmas and always. Amen. <laughs>